Hey everyone, Swolcat here. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Ultra Leap IR170, how it compares to the regular Leap Motion, and if it's worth the money to upgrade. So what is the Ultra Leap IR170, and why don't VTubers know about it? Well, it's basically an upgraded Leap Motion. It's still in the research and development phase, so it's not publicly available, but you can buy a unit for evaluation. Let's talk about the stats and how it's better than the standard Leap Motion. The tracking range is 15 to 20 centimeters longer, and the field of view is 20 to 50 degrees wider. However, the unit itself really isn't production-wise. The sensors and cameras aren't hidden behind some fancy glass, so you have to be careful not to touch them. All this sounds really cool, right? Bigger number, better sensor? Well, I wanted to evaluate for myself, so I bought one. Unfortunately, you can't buy one of these off of Amazon or something like that. You have exactly three options. Aero, Mauser Electronics, and Robot Shop. I went with Robot Shop because the other two made it seem like it would be weeks and weeks to come in, and it actually came in pretty fast. Once it came in, I designed and 3D printed, God, it's a meme at this point, a holder to go into my chest harness just like the other Leap Motion. I put it on, and surprisingly, it worked with the existing software. I didn't have to change anything. It was completely plug and play. So let's try it out. On the left, you'll see the standard Leap Motion as well as my avatar. On the right is the IR170. You can see the range is greatly expanded, which is nice. However, I can't fully extend my arms and clench my fists. And you might say, well, Swole, why don't you just put it on top of your monitor and then that'd be fixed, right? Well, there's a good reason I don't do that. As I mentioned in my setup tour video, which if you haven't watched, oh, why not? I worked really hard on it. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> I use the Valve Index plus several Vive trackers. I'm not an expert in this stuff, but my understanding is that the base stations emit infrared light and the Vive trackers have infrared light sensors. Now, this is kind of a problem since Leap Motion also uses infrared. So, if the tracker sees the infrared from Leap Motion, it might think it's in a place that it's not. This is the main reason that I put it on my chest as opposed to on the desktop. There's less chances that the Vive trackers will see the infrared light from the Leap Motion. Let's get down to it. Let's talk about that cash, that bread, that cheddar. That Leap Motion costs about 110 bucks, and the IR170 is around $250. Is it worth it to upgrade if you already have a Leap Motion? In my opinion, no especially if your setup is using infrared technology like Mind. However, if you're someone who maybe doesn't have that, only wants hand tracking, and is willing to spend the extra money to get the extra range, I think it could work for you. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.